I still don't know whether the author has heard the changes. <laughs> so far, so good. He doesn't get up to the, he doesn't get the Vermont very often. So. One, two, three, one. <laughs>
Are you loud enough? Yeah. Are you People in the front row are saying yes. <laughs> We're okay back there? Okay, good. That tune was the West Valley Waltz that we played at the end because it's mentioned during the tune. So. Um, all the Irish music there is, and one of them is um, the great dance music and the um, really Paula music that came out of Ireland in the 1700s and before. And so there was a great Irish hopper named O'Carroll, and uh, we're going to play a couple of tunes of his. Um, we switch instruments here. One of the things that um, gives me great pleasure is what a lot of the harp music from the late 18th century was played on steel strung harps, which these days you don't see very many of those. And so when you play it on the guitar, it sounds closer to the original harp music than if you play it on one of those nylon string concert harps. Tell them about the instrument that you've got there. <clears throat> so, many kinds of Irish music, as I said. And we'll probably play two or three different kinds today. One of the ones we usually don't play is the Tin Pan Alley version of Irish music. We don't often <clears throat> do some of the stuff. H-A-R-R-I-N-T-O-S-A-R-I-N-T-O-S-A-R-I-N-T-O-S-A-R-I-N-T-O-S-A-R-I-N-T-O-S-A-R-I-N-T-O-S-A-R-I-N-T-O-
credit for um, those songs making it, he gets the same note on the push of the pull. Whereas if you see, when you see me playing my mighty button box, there's a different note on the push and the pull. So you have to kind of figure out which direction you're going in. So his takes a much bigger mind to play. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Much more difficult to play when you're drinking Irish whiskey. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, one of the groups of songs from Ireland um, are the songs of nostalgia and um, some of the, the things that you may remember uh, from when you were children coming out of New York, Tin Pan Alley, and things. But they were also coming from Ireland who they never came to this country until around the late 60s, 70s as part of the folk movement. The Clancy Brothers brought them over. Um, and this is one of the songs. Uh, this is about transportation. That means they had to ship, ship the prisoners right? from the UK down to the bottom of their territories, which was Australia. So uh, this is a song about such a situation. It happened in Athenry, which is right outside of Galway City. <clears throat> they lost their favorite uh, penal colony, which was here. And so they had to find some other place to send their criminals. That's right. That's absolutely right. And the criminals were mostly people who just couldn't pay their bills. And so they were considered part of it. Ready? I'm ready.
She watched the last star fall As the prison ship sailed out against the sky center of Dublin, and it's not really much wider than this room for most of the way, but there's um, these little docks that sit out into the river, which are called Keys, Q-U-A-Y, and this one is about a flea market on the coal key, and on top of that, I'm going to try to play the bones a little bit. Why don't you tell them what you're playing? I'm playing a goat, <laughs> a goat skin and a... A goat skin and a wooden sieve. Cheese press. And it's been a cheese press, they call it, yeah. Now it's called a boron, and it's an Irish drum, both Irish and Scottish. Um, this one's just a synthetic, it isn't goat skin. I have a goat skin at home, but it requires so much Guinness to keep it moist that I don't bring it with me anymore. <laughs> It's true. I, I actually playing used, anything to, that's used to play it in water with, with Guinness. <laughs> playing anything that's weather, weather reliant in Vermont, you've got to be crazy. Robin and I were at a festival in, in Long Island, uh, in uh, Staten Island, of all places, and it was pouring buckets. And the poor guy was trying to play one of these, and it was a ghost skin, so in, in wet weather it just shrinks and becomes a dish rag. It sounded like an So he had to carry a hair blower with him to keep it from... <laughs> All right, so anyways, the, the coal key. Oh, as I went under the coal key for to buy an old chemise, the first one that I picked up in me hands, it was all full of fleas. How much do you want for that old thing, 18 pences? Why, 18 pence for that old thing, do you think I am a fool? Oh, kitty for la la for la la for la, kitty for la la for la, oh, kitty for la la for la, oh, Back for air and I do Takes it home and I wash it up and I hung it out to dry How much did you pay for that old thing? Eighteen pence to die Eighteen pence for that old thing Do you think I am a fool? Hey, get out of the house, you dirty old thing Or I'll walk you with a stool Oh, kitty for la la for la for la Kitty for la la for la do Kitty for la la for la la for la Me whack for air and I do So I takes it home and I wash it up and I hung it out to dry how much did you pay for that old thing? 18 pence as I. 18 pence as I don't think I think I am a fool. To get out of the house, you dirty old thing, or I'll walk you with a stool. Oh, kitty for la la for la la for la. Kitty for la la for la. Kitty for la la for la la for la. Me back for air and ride. So I takes it back to the coal key and says, Ma'am, would you be so kind to take back this here old chemise that hangs so long behind? The lady takes a look at me and her lips begin to squeeze. And all around the cold case, you all can wish me. Oh, kitty for lava for lava for lie, kitty for lava for lie, do kitty for lava for lava for lie, me right for air and I do Come all you pretty fair maids, if you wants to buy new clothes, never buy an old chemise and hangs them to your toes. Never let a man interview the starch and blue. And if you wants to buy a chemise, be sure to buy it new. Oh, kitty for lava for lava for lie. Kitty for love for life, oh, kitty for love for love for life. We like for there and I 
Kitty for lala for lala for lie, Kitty for lala for lie, Kitty for lala for lala for lie, he whack for every night. Not so much now, but in the old days, there were places in Ireland where nobody had any instruments, and there'd be a lilter whose job was to provide mouth music while people danced. It was amazing to watch it happen. Now there's lots more money, lots more instruments. And so we're going we're gonna to stray to a part of North America, which is settled by a lot of Irish, and a place called, um, can't think of the name, what's it, Cape Breton. And uh, Robert was up there for one of the great Celtic festivals they have in Cape Breton, every autumn. And he heard, he heard them all singing this song. It's originally, I guess, from, from a, a Welsh song that was adopted by the miners up in Cape Breton. It's really tough up there because it's only soft coal, which means not only is there a lot of dust, but it's also, it tends to collapse. So it was dangerous and hard work. And you can tell, even though there's kind of affectionate mention of, of mining, you can tell that it was not, it was not all hearts and flowers, let's put it that way. We're gonna start with the chorus. Which is not an easy chorus, but if any of you would like to sing and can pick it up, uh, please do so. We sing it 75 times. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> and she, and she. It's a working man. It's a working man I am 
that's amazing when you're at a, uh, at a show up in Cape Breton when they start singing some of these songs and you're sitting there with 400 people and they all know the words. You look around and say, did they learn this in elementary school? I think they did. I think we have some Cape Bretoners in the audience. So before, before the Chieftains put out Chieftains 5, which was the fifth album that they put out back in the early 70s, and it was the first one that kind of made it over to North America, nobody had heard Turlock O'Carolan, and nobody had heard much Irish instrumental music except for fast jigs and reels. And um, they changed the whole, the whole map. They completely, completely blew it out of the water. And now there's, I would say, as a disc jockey, I would say there's probably 350 young bands <laughs> playing instrumental Irish music. As my mother would say, can they make a living like it? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do a couple of polkas. Polkas from County Kerry, which is down in the southwest corner of Ireland. Now these polkas don't sound like the polkas that you're used to hearing, like beer barrel polka stuff like that. Uh, they're a little different tempo, a little, little bit different, but mostly it's the phrasing that's different. doesn't sound like a polka that we're used to. sometimes how things happen. This is a song that was written by a guy named Michael Smith, who was a singer-songwriter from the East Coast. And it was picked up by Makem and Clancy, and everybody suddenly thought it was an Irish song, though there was no mention of Ireland whatsoever in the whole song. But it's a nice song anyway. <laughs> but not so nice that he could live on it for the rest of his life. They just had a fundraiser to uh, help him because he's got some financial problems. Which goes to show, as my mother said, did they make a living like that? <laughs> <laughs> it 
It's interesting too that the um, the guy who popularized this song before Make Him and Clancy was a guy named Steve Goodman, who was the guy that wrote City in New Orleans, but everybody thinks that Arlo Guthrie wrote City in New Orleans. It's one big confusion. Well, the Dutchman's not the kind of man. Needed some jam. Summer, Margaret brings in breakfast. She believes it. He thinks that Philip's moon beneath the snow is mad as it can be. But Margaret only sees that sometimes. Sometimes she sees her unborn children in his eyes. Let us go to the banks of the ocean where the walls rise above the Zyder Sea Long ago I used to be a young man and dear Margaret remembers that for me The Dutchman still wears wooden shoes his cap and coat are patched with the love that Margaret so did Watches those tugboats go down canals and calls out their names when he thinks he might know the captain. So Margaret comes to take him home again. Down on the floor streets, the tripping, though she holds his arm. Sometimes he thinks he's alone and he calls her name. Let us go to the banks of the ocean Where the walls rise above the Zyder Sea Long ago I used to be a young man And dear Margaret remembers that for me
Uh, don't we all? All right. Um, Liberty Sweet Shore. Here's a song that's kind of closer to Vermont than anything we sung, because it's sung about Quebec. The Ellis Island, for a lot of the incoming northerly immigrants, was Grosseau, which is out by Quebec City. And uh, this was written by John Doyle, who is an amazing guitar player, an unbelievable singer, and an amazing songwriter. If you ever get a chance to hear him, by all means. He lives in the States now, so it's, it's easier to see him than it was back in the day. And we're going to be starting off and doing a break in between the verses with a song called South Spring, a tune. A very nice tune that fits in with this song quite nicely. The reason that I keep changing boxes is that they come in different keys like harmonicas. This is a really interesting one because it was built in 1938 and it's like a time machine. It sounds exactly like it did when it was new. The proper name for that is diatonic, two tonic keys. I love saying that because I, I you look like a professor when you all, say all, that. All my, all, as my, as a kid, you know, we all had harmonicas when we grew up to play around with, but we didn't know they were diatonic. We just thought they were harmonicas, but they only played two keys. Sorry. And also, as I, as I pointed out before. It plays a different note on the push and the pull. <laughs> and that accordion is as old as most of us are. It really is as old as you are, exactly. I know, it's a, it's a horner and a boy. It has that sound like the old calliopes used to sound. I just love the sound of them. Much better than the nice brand new ones that sound so, and are so expensive and sound so well. <laughs> All right. Not only that, but by the th 30s, they'd already figured out ways to mass produce them so that they could sell them for a couple dollars a piece back in the old days. And so the world is full of horner accordions with interchangeable parts. <laughs> One, two, three, one, two.
About the conditions. The same with the French Canadians who were moved out of Acadie and moved to, into Louisiana and down the coast. It's a miracle that any of them survived. It really is. They're the tough people. Ooh, black love the day. We're going to pep things up a bit. And this is in the key of E, if I recall. How much time do we have left? Anybody know? All afternoon. <laughs> All right, just get warmed up. 14 minutes. 14 minutes? Oh, it's 28. Right here to my hand, saying, 
Well, some folks take their life in the carriages are rolling. Others take delight in the hurling and the bowling. But I take delight in the juice of the barley. And courting pretty red haired girls in the morning bright and early. What's really interesting is that a lot of these songs that are, have gone down in history as Irish traditional songs, a lot of them really did originate in American Tin Pan Alley back in the 20s and 30s, which is fine. I don't think this one is one of those. <laughs> I know at least there's one person back there that knows the chorus to this song. Or Kitty Ray. E-flat. It's like golf clubs, they come in different keys. I've got a whole case for it. Inside driver. Inside driver. Thank you, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? 
everybody knows. I don't know if I know another one that everybody knows. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, here, B flat. Uh, we'll do one and experiment with the accordion. Robert's never actually played this with me before, but it's a. Uh, That's what fun is all about. <laughs> this is kind of interesting because, as you heard in the introduction, I play with the Johnny Cash tribute show. And uh, this is a song that Johnny Cash wrote when he came back from touring Ireland. He loved it so much. And, uh, you know, I heard the song for years. I heard people name the song, but I never heard it until I joined the, the group. And uh, it made it my uh, immediate attention to, to learn that. And so it's called 40 Shades of Green, and it's very typical Irish. And so Robert's got the accordion that happens to fit the key, so that's going to be good. I bought this accordion because he loves to sing in E flat and B flat. <laughs> See what I told you, Marie? <laughs> That's true. All right. Let me get this thing strapped on. Don't worry, I don't know it anyway, so. <laughs> well, he, he just heard me. We did it, uh, and when we were doing sound check, I sang it a little bit. Of... Rule number seven is when you start playing the accordion, smile, because everybody gets tired of watching your hands in about the first seven seconds, and look you right in the face if you go... If something's wrong, they think there's something wrong even when there isn't. Um, well, can I borrow your microphone? Hey, Marie, you want to sing the chorus with me? Sure. Marie is in the Johnny Cash tribute show also. And, uh, oh, she, where? She can stand right there. Just give her the microphone. She just gave her the microphone. She doesn't have to come up with it. You're hired. There you go. Thank you. I'm going to make sure you didn't afford the. I got it. Thanks. Thank you. 
Cups, he was playing the saucers, uh -huh. he was playing the chair and the table and everything else. It was amazing. <coughs> and you could tell that he did it all the time because it was one of those things that, that was his instrument, that's what he played. And he always going, yeah, did the little yabbity, did the little yabbity, did the 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 Some of the women from Scotland, especially, can actually imitate the bagpipes doing that. And they really sound like it too, and they, they spent their lives just doing that. Um, uh, I haven't heard Irish people do it that much. What do you want to do when you grow up? I want to sound like a bagpipe. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Robert, President, Marty, 